Sonny? I hope you've been partying like every day is your birthday. Hey, cuz we got another one for you guys today, man. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, my bad. That shit, bro. You know, pause on that, but it feels like. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Let's just say my back is hurting, bro. Let's just say my back is hurting. I did a uh, back and biceps today at the gym, and I don't know, bro. I did do more than I usually do, but my left side on my back, like middle back. Bro, that bit is aching, so if y'all see me, like, you know, hitting them with a that during the video, bro, no, I'm just trying to, you know, stretch it out and get y'all a little stretch in today, bro. Get y'all a little stretch in. We can do a little stretch. Right hand over your head. Hold that. Hold that. That's a nice one. Left hand over. Damn, that was a real nice one. And then we're going to touch the sky, bro. Reach up. Ah, yeah, that's nice. So without further ado, we are going to get right to this one. You know, speaking of yoga, this video was sent to me by you. So I'm hoping it has some wisdom like Yoda. So we're going to check this one out, man. I appreciate you guys for sending this one my way. We got a new person we're going to be reacting to today. Anime Labo. Demon Slayer, man. So make sure you guys do go show him some love. And we got what order did the demons join the upper moon? Now, you know, we saw one video. I forgot what it was about. It was supposed to be like all the Hashira's ranks and their orders. And so, you know, I knew there was going to be spoilers on their moves and stuff like that. But it was telling me about all the deaths. I don't want to know about all the deaths. So I'm really hoping in this video we ain't going to hear about... None of the people we haven't seen dying. You know what I mean? So without further ado, we're just going to hop right into this and uh, see what this video is working with. The elites among demons. Demons are feared by humans because they live to is eat Duke humans. Or have Muzan hair? Kibutsuji is the grandfather of all demons. And the most elite demons under his command are the upper rank Granddaddy demons of the Upper ranks number 1 to 6 have not changed for over 113 years because they were never... 113? What? That's kind of insane. Damn, Demon Slayer people are slacking. They haven't taken out a top sip in 113 years. What the hell have the Hashira been doing? Were killed. The Demon Slayer Corps, the group that hunted demons, has not been able to kill one of them for a very long time. With that guy looks serious. Mind, I bet you're wondering in what order the upper rank demons took their posts. So it's Could just it thinking that they rose to power in their current rank, or did lower rank demons overthrow upper rank demons? Ooh. So now, in this video, we will look at how the upper rank demons got their current rank. We will also talk about when they became demons and blood battles. So please be sure to watch until the end of the video. Hey, you know we gonna be here. Who are the upper rank demons? We know who of one all of was. The demons that Muzan produced, upper rank number one through six, are comprised of the most powerful. Even the most powerful fighters of the Demon Slayer Corps, the Pillars, find it hard to take on an upper rank demon. And in their long history, the upper rank demons. I understand have it the though, because you guys got to think about it. These upper six pretty much have the same skill level as the Hashira, only except they can regenerate instantly, and there's only one way to kill them these of many of the they pillars OP. into the ground until upper rank six lost to tanjiro and the others in the entertainment district the composition of the upper rank had not changed in 113 years upper rank number six is the siblings daki and gyutaro they were upper rank six number five is gyoko upper rank number four is hantengu upper rank number three is akaza upper rank number two is doma and upper rank number those one two is look hella tough it's right worth top noting two? that even though muzan decided to have a class system like the upper rank it has not been around since the heian era in which muzan was changed into a demon kokushibo might have actually been involved in starting the upper rank kokushibo actually became a demon during the warring states period he was originally a warrior for a demon hunting group and before he became a demon he trained to master his sword technique and became one of the higher ranked members of his group because he was such a strong Ooh. when he became a demon bro so mob y'all saw the one demon slayer video you know 
You know what we're talking about. Kokushibo had unmatched power. We know that only 60 years after he became a demon, he held the position of upper rank number one. In other words, the rank system has been around since the Warring States period, and Kokushibo has held the number one spot since then. Other than Kokushibo, Yorichi Sugikuni, the strongest swordsman in the story, also lived in the Warring States period. Yorichi passed on breathing techniques to the Demon Slayer Corps, which had more powerful members at that time than ever before. Muzan was actually fought into a corner Damn. by Yorichi, so he was worried that such a strong person would appear again in the future. As a countermeasure against a demon hunting organization, Muzan created the elite demons, the demon of the upper rank. So we can see the start of the upper rank system was during the Warring States period. By creating the upper rank class system, a demon can see if they are elite. And I think that demons always want to become strong. So, the rank system motivates them to do their best. To 100%, reach the upper rank. dude. You can tell someone to do something, they don't want to do it. But as soon as you dangle a little carrot in front of their face, they're going to hop to it, buddy. They gonna be getting right on that. When the rank system was introduced in the Warring States period, we cannot confirm that there were any demons in it besides Kokushibo. This means that he might have been the only upper rank demon. Of course, there might have been six demons, but there might not have been demons strong enough to hold the positions yet. If there were six members, it could be that other than Kokushibo, they were all defeated by the Demon Slayer Corps or the weak. current members joined through blood battles. What are blood battles? That's what I was just about to ask. A blood battle occurs when a demon wants to join the 12 Kizuki or if they want to go up in rank. They will challenge the demon who holds the rank they want. This can be called an official battle because Muzan Whoa. has given it his seal of approval. I want to see that! Because, yo, that's going to be two people who literally can't kill each other trying to kill each other. That would be epic, dude. I hope they put that in the next season. Even though Muzan was famous for killing off many of his demons, the system he made is stylish because it makes the demons want to get stronger. The upper rank demons have the power to telepathically talk with the lower rank demons and also gather information from their senses if they get the okay from Muzan. The fact that upper rank demons have both authority and honor makes their positions coveted, but the terrible fate awaits those demons that lose the blood battle. If Muzan says it's okay, the winner can completely absorb the loser. It seems that it's absorb? not a good idea to carelessly ask for a blood battle. It turns out that three demons have challenged Kokoshibo to a blood battle. One of those demons was Akaza. Of course, Akaza was not absorbed by Kokoshibo. We don't know if this is because Ooh, Muzan why, yeah, did not why? get permission. Or yeah, Muzan was probably like, hell no, you ain't absorbing him. That's the dude. He's top three. But I will say, if he did absorb that man... I would do y'all when they absorb them do they get their powers and stuff too or do they just absorb them like you know f you you gone now because that would be dizzy you know then there's no really reason to do that but i'm sure they get their powers in some way or form so that's kind of that's kind of crazy Koshibo refused, but because of that, Akaza retained his position in the upper rank. It's possible that the other two demons were absorbed after they lost. Note that demons cannot actually kill each other, so a normal battle between demons is meaningless. The only way to kill a demon is to cut off its head with a Nichirin sword or expose them to sunlight. So even if a demon is able to rip off another demon's head, it will not kill them. Because of that, we're not sure how a demon actually wins a blood battle. More than likely, the ways to win the blood battle are by either attacking until the opponent cannot move, or by making them lose their fighting spirit through the use of overwhelming ability. A demon can end up living a very long time if they are just careful to avoid sunlight and the demon slayer core. So we can see a demon who does not have high aspirations and self-confidence would not ask for a blood battle. When did they become demons? Ooh. Before we think about when they became members of the upper rank, let's see if we can figure out when the upper rank members became demons. The story of Kimetsu no Yaiba is set in the Taisho era. The Taisho era was from 1912 to 1926. Fun fact so of the day, if the upper Taisho rank demons did not change for 113 years, we know that ranges from 1799 to 1813. 
At the latest, the upper rank demons were all assembled by 1813, which was in the Edo era. So we know they became demons before that point. Let's wow, start with Hunt Denver. As he many, was many. dying and his life was passing before his eyes, we could see that he was put on trial at a Hakusho. A Hakusho is another name for a magistrate's office. It's where they judge criminals in the Edo era. And by 1613, they were located all across the country. From the fact that he was being held on trial in a Hakusho, and also that the judge wore a top knot, we can see that Hantengu was probably made a demon in the Edo era. Also, Akaza was put on trial when he was a human and was tattooed with black ink as a punishment. This type of punishment actually occurred in the mid to late Edo era. Judging from the fact that Akaza lived at Keizo's training hall after he oh, got is that tattooed, how we got those marks? he probably became a demon sometime after 1720. Also, it's said in the story that Doma became a demon after Akaza. Also, in the manga, it's clearly stated that Yutaro and his sister became demons after Doma. With all of that information... That guy's eyes are so... T you know, pause on that. But his... Bro. He just looks soup as shit. I'm sorry, this man just looks soup as shit. Demons after Doma. I know he got to be about that information, it. we can see that Hantengu became a that demon dude between 1613 and 1813. While well, Akaza, on, Doma, Yutaro, and his sister all became demons sometime between 1720 and 1813. It could be that Hantengu became a demon in the beginning of the Edo era. Akaza became one in the middle of the Edo era. And Doma, Yutaro, and his sister became demons in that order at the end of the Edo period. As for Kokushibo, as we said before, he became a demon in the Warring States period. When it comes to Gyoko, we have no idea when he became a demon. The main demons of the story all regain memories of their human life when they are destroyed, but Gyoko didn't have those memories. The only thing we know about him is from the second fan book, which tells us that when he was a human, he lived on the edge of a fishing village and his parents died on a fishing expedition when he was young. Since all we know is that he has a connection with the fishing village and fishing, he could be from any era from the Heian era onward. He has a lot it of fishing places. Gyoko was born the earliest of all the demons of the upper rank six. The favor of Muzan. Could it be that demons of the upper rank got their current positions because they had the favor of Muzan? Even if they didn't have his favor, it could be that he had the tendency to think that they would become strong demons. I believe this because all the demons of the upper rank have something 100%. in common. 100%. He picks, honestly y'all, he picks the people who have the shittiest lives. And turns them into hate and, you know, make some hate the people. Because, you know, if you get picked on by people your whole life, like the one dude, Gyro, with the green hair. He got picked on, called names, looked down on his whole entire life by humans. Someone comes to him, hey, yo, what if I can give you the, like, unlimited power to kill humans? The people who've been making your life a living hell. They gonna take that, become as soup as possible... And try to cause as much damage as possible because that's just, you know, a broken world and broken people, bruh. So he knows what he's doing when he does that. That commonality is the fact that when they were humans, they could be evil and brutal. Gyutaro was a money collector who used violence to get what he wanted. He was so angry that his little sister was burned alive that he killed two people in retaliation. Gyoko had the habit of collecting dead fish. When a kid teased him about that, he showed himself to be a psychopath because he killed that kid and stuffed the body in a jar. In a Antengu jar? stole and killed incessantly. He did that so many times, he was sentenced to a beheading. Because the wow, of nah, that man's just killed, evil. He grew angry and killed many people with his bare hands. Doma cannot feel emotions to the point that when his parents died, he just commented that the room was dirty. He was a human that was mentally unstable. It could... Yeah, that would make for a good demon. What? That's gotta be the most disrespectful shit you could say, bro. Your parents die and you just like... Dirty ass place. Ain't even commenting on them. Yeah, I take back what I said, bro. Some of these people are just menaces in human life. Be that Muzan decided to give more of his blood than usual to such humans. Not only does Muzan's blood turn humans into demons, but it can be used to make existing demons more powerful. In other words, maybe Muzan believed that when a cruel person becomes a demon, that cruelty will make them powerful. On the other hand, Kokushibo was not cruel in the same way but the he others was were. Even he was though soup, he was though. extremely jealous of his brother, it was not like he was antisocial. 
killed anyone or did anything else deserving punishment. It could be that Muzan gave Kokoshibo some extra blood because he was originally a member of the Demon Slayer Corps and already had martial training. Of course, even if a person gets a lot of Muzan's blood, that does not necessarily mean that they will become a great demon. Even if a person is cruel, if they cannot react correctly to Muzan's blood, they will die instead of becoming a demon. If the what? cruelty of the human had a connection with the raw power of the demon, Muzan would make plenty of strong demons by going around to jails every night. I'm sure a serial killer would make an amazing demon. But Muzan never did anything that like would be that. crazy so it seems that cruelty is not the only thing bro a good demon. can you imagine michael myers or somebody is a demon or freddy krueger it'd be over dude i'm sorry if michael myers turned out to be a demon i mean bro damn near is a demon but an actual demon where he's not walking so damn slow It'd be over, dude. It may be that not only cruelty, but also an intense want to become a demon is the only way to win against the powers of Muzan's blood. When did they become upper rank? Shout out, question of the day. With all of that in mind, let's think about when they became upper rank demons. When Muzan made Akaza into a demon, he said that he wanted to make a group of 12 strong demons. By this, he meant that he wanted to put together the lower rank demons. So, we can see the upper rank already had 6 members at that point. In other words, at least Akaza, Doma, Gyutaro, and his sister had already become members of the upper rank. But we don't know if they had their current rank at that time. We already know that Kokoshiba had been upper rank number one since the beginning of the rank system. It could also be that the upper rank existed before Gyoko, Hantengu, and Akaza became demons. Also, from what's said in the story, we know that Doma became upper rank number two after Akaza. Apparently, Doma rose in rank from six to two. First, Akaza became upper rank three through blood battle, and then Doma became a demon and became upper rank number six. Doma may look like he's easygoing, but he actually plans those, out bro, his every move. Come on, bro. Those are the super ones i've been say that the ones who are the most calm and collected are the ones that i'm gonna be worrying about the most the people who are <gasps> always barking chirping and talking 99 percent of the people that aren't really about it bro or that at least think they're about it and they're really not the ones who are just wait for their time to shine they ain't gotta talk and act like they about it because they know day about move he planned so much that during battle he actually collects information that could be used in the next battle because blood battles are dangerous and the loser might be absorbed doma would probably not be interested in going through another one when doma became upper rank number six he met the other upper rank demons when they came together he intuited that he would not be able to defeat kokoshibo but he thought he would be able to win against that upper rank number two doma instantly Damn, passed he rank knew he five couldn't beat three him? and became rank two that means Doma became upper rank 2 more than 113 years ago. In other words, Doma became rank 2 and the demon that failed rank 6 was killed by the Demon Slayer Corps 113 years ago. When that happened, Gyutaro and his sister filled the 6th rank position. That leaves us with Gyoko, who could have been a demon at any point. Is that he genie? became a demon a long time ago. For example, during the Muromachi era, he could have been a member of the upper rank when it was first formed. The reason this could be true is that Gyoko's vases sell for a lot of money. Money. So they became the base of Muzan's wealth. There's a possibility that Muzan gave Gyoko extra blood, not only because he can handle himself in a battle, but also because he's good at searching for things and also a source of money. This could mean that the upper rank demons joined in the order of Kokushibo, Gyoko, Hantengu, Akaza, Doma, and then Gyutaro and his sister. Wait, shit. I was looking at the pictures, not listening to the names, bro. I don't think the names lined with the pictures. Gyoko, Hantengu, Akaza, Doma, and then Gyutaro and his sister. That's what we think the possible order of the demons becoming I'm gonna go with you, brother. Be. You know what I'm saying? You seem like you've done your research. The have not changed in 113 years. That's that crazy. are truly powerful. This is especially true for Kokoshibo, who has always had the number one position in the upper rank, and Doma, who suddenly jumped up in rank. I think it's a good idea to have a promotion system like the blood battles. But I don't think the loser should get absorbed by the winner. Maybe... I don't either. That's a big hit, too. Like, if you're fighting someone's suit, you don't want to... I mean, if it's a shitty person, bro, then, uh, you know, I mean, like, why are you wasting my time, bro? Yeah, get absorbed. You suck. But I say at least top 32, top 50 demons, I don't think should be absorbed. 
It would be better if they just lost the rank. As you can imagine, since Doma beat the old rank 2 demon in blood battle, he must have absorbed that demon. To be killed upon losing just once is quite a harsh punishment. More than that, it would be a serious loss to Muzan to be deprived of the old rank 3 and 5 demons. Of course, Muzan probably thinks that he does not want to keep any demon that would lose, but it seems like a bit of a waste of raw martial power to me. Also, I'm wondering if the upper rank demons would retain their current rank if the members of the Demon Slayer Corps didn't defeat them. Especially Gyutaro and his sister, who have the special condition of being siblings, were powerful. If they challenged Gyoko to a blood battle, I have a feeling that they would have won. And if they did Ooh. win, they would be able to absorb Gyoko with Muzan's Yeah, if they could have just 2v1 they might have been able to. Well, no, nah, then again, you can't kill them anyway. I was going to say because they would have been impossible to kill, but they he's not killing them anyway. If that did happen, Daki, who hates anything she considers to be ugly, would never consent to absorbing Yoko. I can picture her saying that she would rather stay at rank 6 if it meant absorbing Yoko, or that Yutaro should wait until they could challenge the rank 3 demon. It seems that she would never be able to leave rank 6. It could be that demons would stay in their current rank for hundreds of years She not even rank 6, not bro. She was a Do damn you think bot. the current upper rank demons are in the right rank please leave a comment down below thank you for watching to the end of the video hey man glad we got to watch that shout out hope he's all good posts we're gonna be putting the original we're gonna be putting the original link down in the description so make sure you check it out his channel you guys what a video right there no spoilers but some great great information that is what we like to see baby now i hate bro that Doki is even considered bro top six i'm she was a bot Bro, we literally saw this chick lose like three times. She is not top. I wouldn't even give her, honestly, y'all. Mm. I might give her top 12. Mm. I'm trying to think. Would you guys give Doki top 12? If she is top 12, she definitely 12. But I'm trying to think, because the spider die, I'm pretty sure, was like 12. But he was pretty suit. But I don't know who would win. I'm sure he would win in the match versus her. Ooh, it's a tough choice, bro. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hope y'all enjoyed that one. I cannot wait for Demon Slayer Season 3 to be coming out. I really hope we get to see some of those blood battles. I want to see how two invincible people go about it. You know, making another one submit. And I guarantee you it's going to be a lot of a mental game. Because in a battle like that, it's not about physical at all. I mean, it is, but it isn't. You know what I mean? I mean, it is, but it isn't. So, I'm going to get to the next one. Y'all be easy. Have a great rest of your day, man. Deuces. Oh, my gosh, dude. I only spilled a little of my water. I almost spilled all of it. That was close. That was close.